Yeah, what's going on, YouTube family? This your boy, Blood Raw IC, different back at y'all with another quick, informative video. Remember to make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Oh, yeah, make sure you post notification bell on so you will be alerted every time I continue to drop that. Ugh! Throw Ikes on my YouTube channel, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah, before you even get this video started, go ahead and hit the like button, man. Let's get this one in the algorithm. It costs you nothing to hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? We sharing this video to millions and millions around the globe. But let's get straight to it. This video here, man, I had to come back and do a topic pertaining to the American dream. Yes, this video here is going to be titled The American Dream. This false-ass illusion of life that they have us living in. Okay, when they say the American dream, which dream means an illusion. So they basically got you thinking right here in America that you're equal as a human being. Basically meaning everybody is born equal in society. Not right here in motherfucking United States of America. You got to think about it. When they say the American dream, they trying to get you and have you under the illusion that the way they have constructed life for us, for an individual right here in America, is prosperous, is promising, and is very well full of abundance. That is a flat out motherfucking lie. Let me break this shit down for you. When they say the American dream, they already giving you a sense of false hope. When they calling something a dream, which is an illusion, you got to think about it. <coughs> Excuse me. How the fuck can we be equal here in society, especially right here in America, when you go to fill out for a credit loan, a credit application, and ask for your race? That separates us right there. What does it matter on a loan or credit application about your race, whether you're black, white, Mexican, Latin America? What does that what does that has to do anything with equality? Let that sink in. Also, why does it ask on a credit or loan application about the gender, male or female? That should be irrelevant also. You see the illusion that they have y'all working and being and taking participating in. You got to think about it as far as with the Social Security. They got you working till you're 65 years old and then they ready to compensate you as far as Social Security pension. The average person ain't even living to be 65. You got to think about it. If it was the American dream, why are these billion and trillion dollar corporations paying the people that's building their companies bottom pay, totem pole pay, bro? Just think about that shit. You got companies like McDonald's, Walmart, that's a billion dollar corporations and only getting their people pennies on the dollars per hour. Me personally, these big ass franchises and corporations Always asking for bailouts. Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Walmart, all these big companies, when the economy go to getting shaky, they be the first motherfuckers asking for bailouts. And they've been in business 20, 30 plus years, bro, and asking for bailouts. The bailout should be for the people that's in this false ass illusion about the American dream. They have you thinking the American dream is to go to college graduate, go to college, get a high paying degree as far as your job, get married, have children, and live in the White House on the hill. Man, that is a fake, false fucking illusion, bro. You got to think about it. The average person works day in and day out, six to seven hours a week, and barely making it, bro. Barely making it. And now how high things are going up due to the hyperinflation and all the changes that's taking place in society, a $15 hour job really ain't shit now in time, bro, because everything is going up. You got people having to quit their jobs, bro, because it's taking them more money as far as buying fuel in order for them to get to their job, man. Just think about that shit, bro. And they steady screaming the American dream, which is a fucking illusion, bro, in itself, bro. Think about that shit. How can it be American dream where we're all not equal out here in society, especially not in America? As far as the other country goes, they don't coincide when I'm speaking of the American dream. And if you got America is a big ass illusion. You got all these other countries and nations thinking America is the place to be, which is not. You got the things that we eat that's being put in our food, being approved by the FDA, that's banning other countries, man. So how the fuck can we be the best nation? They are murdering 
unborn children. Pedophilia is running rampant. They have the children confused when it comes to gender roles and who they are to be growing up. This American dream shit is the biggest illusion and the biggest scheme ever known to society, bro, especially right here in America. Like I just said, they scream, live the American dream. What for? When the shit is not based off equality, man. Think about it. You can go in there and price your home at a bank as far as value. I'm talking about, I had a person say they did this, went in there and priced their home. The bank gave them an offer. So they sent one of their friends in there that was a white person and they gave them double the amount as far as the offer. You see the malarkery in this shit, bro. It will never be equality over here in this fake ass American dream, bro. I'm breaking it down for y'all, man. I broke it down for y'all with the with the loans and the credit application where they're asking for your race, gender role, your gender. That shit shouldn't even matter when applying for a loan or a job unless you're finna do some shit that takes strength as far as the job, you know, masculinity, that's different. But far as on the job, when right here in America, women has equal rights just like a man. So why would there even be male or female on the application? If America, has, if America has portrayed the woman to be equal to the man, which in my eyes, woman and man is equal. We are equal. But when it comes to certain jobs, a man can do what a woman can't do. And that goes the same way. A woman can do what a man can't do. It goes both ways. It's, a, it's an equal balance. But you got to think about it. If we was all equal, why the fuck does it matter if we're male or female on the application, job application, credit application, loan application? What does it matter? What does the race, the color of someone's skin has to do with submitting a document, bro? That is an illusion within itself, bro. You got to think about it. In this American dream, you're working the job, being taxed on the job. Then you're going into the stores, buying goods and being taxed on their goods. And when you get your W-2 income tax form, you're being taxed again on the same money that you were already taxed on through the year. Think about this shit, man. The American, green, the American dream is a fucking illusion, bro. I just had to make this video because I talked about the American dream in my last video, so I had to touch topic and hit key subjects when it pertains to the American dream. That's a false, that is a, that is, an, a, that is a false delusion, bro. It's a big false illusion on society and especially right here in America. And if you're going to wake up every day teaching your kids to follow the American dream, you are continuing to rock your motherfucking children to sleep to this big ass illusion, bro. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, man. It don't cost you nothing. Hit that like button. You getting gratification out of this video, hit the like button. But I ain't going to make this video much longer, man. But y'all sit down and teach your kids about this American dream slash illusion that they got everybody waking up every day thinking you can be great how can you be great when you have limitations on your greatness right here in america just think about it many people are products to their environment man meaning you got to think about how they created the, the projects the housing complexes the ghettos people cannot grow because of their because they are a product of their environment now, ain't nothing wrong with you elevating mentally and pulling yourself from beyond that. But the scientific studies show you put an individual in an environment and rarely 1% will be able to uprise and overcome their situation. You got to think about it. Why do you think you have so many people from the hoods and ghettos getting into mischief, shooting and killing each other, partaking in the drugs, just all deep in the crime? Because that's all they know. They became a product of their environment. Just think about it. You put somebody in the ghetto, put them in the suburbs, put them around opportunities where they can achieve greatness. They going to succeed, bro. That is the key to this big ass American dream of an illusion. But I ain't going to make this video much longer, man. This your boy Blood Raw. Until next time, I'm out.